So what I have here today is a cold steel Norse tomahawk that I'm going to be modifying. There's lots of other tomahawk modifying videos out there, but this one's going to be a little bit different because I'm going to use this as a prop. I'm currently in pre-production on a short film whose uh, working title is called Sons of Romans, Sons of Vikings. I'll probably have more information on that on this channel later. But the, uh, the cold steel tomahawk here, the head is super loose. Basically the head is just held on by this screw here. So the first thing I'm going to do is uh, work on the handle. So you can see what that looks like with the uh, screw hole and then you can see where the, the top of the tomahawk head is just cut into the handle. So there is a clear finish on the tomahawk head and I want to restain it, make it a little bit darker so I'm going to right now sand off whatever coating they have on here. So that coating is pretty thick, you can see it just sort of gums up the sandpaper. One trick on YouTube I saw was guys were using the, the back of their knife to kind of scrape it off. You can see the little shavings. And that's not the wood, that's the coating. Okay, so here's what the uh, tomahawk handle looks like after about three coats of stain. Now one thing I'm, I decided to do to this is uh, cut some grooves into the handle. So I've got a full round file. Uh, this is really a metal file, but it's going to work just fine on the wood. So you can see it's not going super deep, but it's going to be enough that it's going to give it just that little bit of extra traction. Because I am going to be using this as a uh, fighting prop. Okay, so here's what the, uh, the grooves look like on the axe. And now I'm just going to put another coat of stain on there. Okay, so I'm getting the forge going today, and uh, first project I'm going to do is I am going to remove the this paint from the cold steel uh, Norse Hawk. I don't think the paint looks particularly good. It definitely won't look period, and you know it just looks painted on. So it's not that there's anything wrong with the finish, but for a movie prop, it just isn't going to look right for my film. A lot of YouTubers use paint remover uh, to get this this off. Um, I'm going to go a different route and I'm going to use the forge to burn that paint off and then it's also going to leave a um, kind of a forged scale on there so it'll look like this is actually a forged axe head. I stuffed some borax into the back of the screw hole here on the uh, back of the axe head. That's, uh, that's threaded and there's a little uh, hex screw that goes through there and kind of helps hold that onto the handle. So I'm going to try and preserve that. So today I'm also going to make some uh, birch oil. So what I got here is just uh, some birch bark that I cut off the branch and I got it uh, threaded up and uh, put it all in this tin. I take the, uh, the lid here, poke a hole in it, just like that. So I have another, another tin with another hole in it and the lid, I take that lid and then upside down set that in the hole that goes on top of that and then I just sort of bury around it just to keep it stable I take the coals from the forge and keep them up around it here
the idea is that the fire kind of turns the birch bark into uh, a charred material and the oil leaches out of the birch bark will drip down to the bottom of that container and then it'll all go into the uh, second container that's in the ground there. So here's what the cold steel Norse hog looks like after it came out of the forge. I didn't do anything to it other than drop it in the forge and get it red hot. Uh, and that put all this uh, cool fire scale on there, which I think looks a little more historically accurate. Um, so what I'm going to do now is use my sandstone to take off some of the scale around the edge to make it look sharp without it actually being sharp. Um, the reason I'm using the stone rather than a file is that fire scale is pretty hard on the file itself, it dulls the teeth quicker. And then also I'm not using sandpaper or emery cloth on this because that's just using up um, a resource, basically. There you go. That's what she's looking like. Here's what the finished tomahawk looks like. You saw me put the birch oil on there. And that was sticky for at least a week later, so what I did is I took some charcoal dust and rubbed it into the handle to try and absorb some of that birch oil and it gave it this darker really black kind of finish down here by the bottom and up at the top which I think looks really cool gives it a very worn used look um, but there's still still some residual uh, tackiness to it which isn't bad um, when you're fighting with it because it keeps it from falling out of your hand or slipping out of your hand I should say uh, it's still just held on there by the little hex nut on the back, so I can always take that off, put a new handle on there, um, sharpen this up if uh, once the movie's over. But well, there it is. So hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and until next time, be more Viking.